speaking of which, I, I love how we went to Hitler and Stalin from 20, 30 minutes ago, uh, GPT-3 generating, pro doing program synthesis. The argument was about morality of AI versus human. So, um, and specifically in the context of writing programs, specifically in the context of programs that can be destructive. So running nuclear power plants or autonomous weapon systems, for example. And I think your inclination was to say that it's not so obvious that AI would be less moral than humans or less ef effective at, at making a, a world that would make humans happy. So uh, I'm not talking about uh, self-directed systems that are um, making their own goals at a global scale. Uh, if you just talk about the deployment of technological systems that are able to um, see order and patterns and use this as control models to act on the goals that we give them, then uh, if we have the correct incentives to set the correct incentives for these systems, I'm quite optimistic. So, but, so humans versus AI, let me give you an example. Autonomous weapon system. Let's say there's a city somewhere in the Middle East that has a number of terrorists. And the question is, what's currently done with, uh, with drone technology is you have uh, information about the location of a particular terrorist and you have a targeted attack. You have a bombing of that particular building. And that's all directed by humans at the high level strategy and also at the deployment of individual bombs and missiles like that the actual, uh, everything is done by human except the, the final targeting. And the, the like the country, it's like with spots, similar thing, like control the, the flight. Okay, what if you give AI control in, in saying, uh, write a program that says, here's the best information I have available about the location of these five terrorists. Here's the city, make sure it's all the bombing you do is constrained to the city. Make sure it's precision based, but you take care of it. So you do one level of abstraction out and saying, take care of the terrorists in the city. Which are you more comfortable with? The humans or the JavaScript uh, GPT-3 generated code that's doing the, the deployment? I mean, that's, this is the, the kind of question I'm asking, is the kind of bugs that we see in human nature, are they better or worse than the kind of bugs we see in AI? They're different bugs. There is an issue that if people are creating an in, uh, imperfect automation of a process that normally requires a moral judgment, and this moral judgment uh, is uh, the reason why it cannot be automated often. It's not because uh, the uh, computation is too expensive, but because the model that you give the AI is not an adequate model of the dynamics of the world, because the AI does not understand the context that it's operating in in the right way. And this is something that already happens with Excel. Right, you don't need to have an uh, AI system to do this. If you have an automated process in place where humans decide using automated criteria whom to kill when mm -hmm. and whom to target when, which already happens, right? And you have no way to get off the kill list once that happens, once you have been targeted according to some automatic criterion by people, right, in a bureaucracy. That, that is the issue. The issue is, is not the AI, it's the automation. So there's something about Right, it's automation. But there's something about the, there's a certain level of, of abstraction where you give control to AI to do the automation. There's a scale that could be achieved that it feels like the scale of bug and scale mistake and scale of destruction that could be achieved uh, of the kind that humans cannot achieve. So AI is much more able to destroy an entire country accidentally versus humans. It feels like the more civilians die as a react uh, or suffer as the consequences of your decisions, the more weight there is on the human mind to make that decision. And so like it becomes more and more unlikely to make that decision for humans. For AI, it feels like it's harder to encode that kind of weight. In a way, the AI that we're currently building is automating statistics. Right? Intelligence is the ability to make models so you can act on them. And AI is a tool to make better models. So in principle, if you're using AI wisely, 
we are able to prevent more harm. And I think that the main issue is is not on the side of the AI, it's on the side of the human command hierarchy that is using technology irresponsibly. Yes. So the question is how hard is it uh, to encode to to, pro to properly encode the right incentives into the AI. Yeah. So, uh, for instance, there's this uh, idea: what happens if we let our airplanes being flown with AI systems, and the uh, neural network is a black box, and so on? And mm -hmm. it turns out our neural networks are actually not black boxes anymore. There are uh, function approximators using linear algebra, and uh, there are performing things that we can understand. But we can also, uh, instead of letting the neural network fly the airplane, use the neural network to generate a proof of the correct program with a degree of accuracy of the proof that a human could not achieve. Right? So we can use our AI by combining different technologies yeah. to build systems that are much more reliable than the systems that a human being could create. And uh, so in, in this sense, I would say that if you use an early stage of technology, to save labor and uh, don't employ, uh, employ competent people, but just to hack something together because you can, that is very dangerous. And if people are acting under these incentives that they get away with delivering shoddy work more cheaply using AI with less human oversight than before, that's very dangerous. The thing is though, AI is still going to be unreliable, perhaps less so than humans, but it'll be unreliable in novel ways. And, uh, yeah, but this is an empirical question and it's something that we can figure out and work with. Yeah. So the issue is, do we trust the systems, the social systems that we have in place and the social systems that we can build and maintain that they're able to use AI responsibly? If they can, then AI is good news. If they cannot, then it's going to make the existing problems worse. Well, and also who creates the AI, who controls it, who makes money from it because it's ultimately humans and then you start talking about how much you trust the humans. So the question is, what does who mean? I don't think that we have identity per se. I think that the, the story of a human being is somewhat random. What happens uh, is more or less that everybody is acting on their local incentives, what they perceive to be their incentives. And the question is, what are the incentives that the one that is uh, pressing the button is operating under? Yeah.